Thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome back to the squat cycle. This is week five, session A. And if you are new to the channel, new to this series, I'm gonna give you guys a full breakdown of today's squat session. I'm gonna give you guys some context, some first person insight as I just finished this workout about 15 minutes ago. Um, in total, it takes 45 minutes from your my first working set of my back squat to my last finished set of my front squat. Throw in 15 to 25 minutes of warming up, and we're looking at just over an hour cumulative. So make sure that's blocked out correctly, you're warming up properly, you're ready to go because these percentages are moderately to heavy percents, especially considering no knee sleeves. I did use a belt, but I'll get into that of where I strategically use that as and what I was specifically feeling to validate using a belt. As we are in week five, I know last week, if you check out week four, session A, I will start talking about using the belt, using sleeves this week. So let's get into it. First things first, the first set of two by three front squats. That's two sets, three reps per set, so six total at the 78%. So this first set of three back squats, the body was definitely not warmed up properly how it should have been. I should have taken maybe an extra five to 10 minutes. It's a little chilly in the gym today. And I think my muscles just weren't firing properly. I had a longer day at work. I was more sedentary at my desk. So the hips were very tight. I didn't take in as many electrolytes as I should have. So there was a big startup process. The muscles felt kind of crampy, which is very unusual for me. And I walked into the gym had it down an extra scoop of carbs, an extra tab of electrolytes, really let the body come to even before I started squatting. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. And it took even more time to get warmed up. Like I spent a good half hour getting prepped and primed. And I still felt horrible on this first set of three, uh, of 3.45 or my 78%. The three and a half minute rest felt fantastic. It felt appropriate, it didn't feel too long. It went by pretty quickly, but the body was recovered. The second set at 78% for three reps felt much better. The body was starting to warm up and starting to click. I think two of the three reps were really, really solid. Um, that first rep again, not my greatest, but not terrible. Again, no belt, no sleeves. Where I did start to belt up though, is this 85%. I don't know what the exact metric is, but I know somewhere around your 90% is like your two or three or four RM max. So this is starting to get a little dangerous here with two sets of three at 85%. So we belt it up here, no knee sleeves. I am using lifters still, but again, with the three and a half minutes, it felt adequate of adjusting from here to there. The legs felt rested, but that first 85% was a true struggle. There's definitely a shock to the nervous system you have to understand and think about. And that's where I think in that adjustment, that type of jump, it is appropriate to use a belt, to use sleeves, wrist wraps if you're a low bar squatter or if it's just for a comfort thing. Get a little bit of chalk, make sure we're locked in. You know, I got a little chalk on my shirt, a little bit on the hands, making sure everything was nice and tight for the 85%. Three and a half minutes passed, I felt rested. That second set honestly felt the best out of all four, all four sets in total for the back squat. I finally felt warmed up, the gears were kind of clicking, and I felt like I could have done more reps, more weight. I could have gone up and hit like a heavy single well over 400 on the day, but we had to cap that because we're moving into the front squat. And as you see over here, we finished in 15 minutes on the back squat, took 15 minutes and then started the set at 30 minutes. So it took about five to 10 minutes, cool down, shed the weight, get some hydration in, take another scoop of carbs, go to the bathroom, and then start loading up the weight again. And at 30 minutes, we were hitting the front squats. So first set at 75%. Again, didn't feel fantastic. The legs felt fine this time because they were warm from the back squat, but the upper body definitely needed a little TLC to get my positioning correct. I did do back and buys yesterday, a little bodybuilding. Um, and I think I had a little bit of uh, restricted movement and motion there. So again, first set, not my best. Legs felt fantastic, but I was a little forward um, and I did, well, it did not feel as stable. Four and a half minutes. This first rest break felt really, really long. The extra 30 seconds I felt like was unnecessarily long. But what I will say is with every four minute rest period for the front squats, the legs had a lot of juice in them. They felt really, really recovered. And I'm very happy with how I performed within each set. So that second set at 
I got into a better position with the shoulders. I was way more upright and we came out the hole and it resulted in three really, really solid reps. Now, the like moment where I knew like this is the main part of the workout where you need to focus similarly on the last two sets of here, the last two sets of three at 81%. And the reason being only taking, typically we take a 7% jump. Here we're only taking a 6% jump. And that is because personally and selfishly, I need to work on my front squat and going up that extra percent, I feel like really those five to 10 pounds really would throw off the squat. And in this two by three, the first set of three at 81%, was a fight, but again, feet were in a better position, heels were kind of not completely screwed into the ground, but way better than they have been. There was no gas pedal going on here with the heel coming up. The body stayed upright, the elbows didn't dip as much, but for 81%, it felt really, really good on that first set. Again, a great four minute rest, and this four minute rest went the fastest because I was definitely a little fatigued from that first set of 81%. And on this final three reps of the front squat, Number one was great, number two was a little shaky, and the third one, the heel came up a little bit more than the first set, but overall, pretty stable, great speed out of the hole, and the barbell moved the entire time. There was no sticking points, and that's, again, attributed to the four minute rest here, and it carries over as like a waterfall effect from the three and a half minutes here. Having those rest intervals, taking the time in between, definitely attributed to a better session. So, all in all, pretty solid, Week five, session A. I wish I would have won, warmed up a little bit longer because those percentages shocked the body a little more than I thought they were going to. And then two, really focus on actually resting. Don't do a whole lot in between each set unless it's in between physically the difference of movements there. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this was helpful. And I hope you guys are getting something out of this if you are going through this program at any point in your training. If you guys have any questions, Drop them in the comments below, leave me a like, please subscribe, and as always, peace, much love. Thank you for watching.